Do you like women? Do you like cute pets? Do you like women that own cute pets? Then this character will be worth every cent. There are two big reasons why you should pull. No, 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 literally. Getting Topaz and Numbi is quite the two-in-one deal. It's actually not Topaz, it's Topaz and Numbi. Why does Numbi get this exclusiveness, but it's Clara, not Clara and Svarog? Like, give him some credit, he's literally doing all the work. Nonetheless, they're an amazing addition, so you can have the cutest tax collectors in the world in your team. Now that we've already gotten the rich boy, get ready for the rich girl and her cuddly cartwheel of death. You can't defeat me. No, I know, but he can. To convince you to get them, you need to learn what they do. My name is Aloha, and this is my Topaz and Numbi guy. And pay double. Topaz and Numbi is a fire hunt character. They also have some of the best ability names in the game. Their normal attack, Deficit, is a mockery in the name towards the enemy. But the real mockery is how that is Topaz's only own move. Outside of combat, it's Topaz heavy, but inside of combat, this character is more Numbi than Topaz. Their skill, Difficulty Pay... <laughs> yes. Initially marks a single enemy for them to take increased follow-up damage. Only one enemy can have this mark at the same time, and if no one is currently marked, a random enemy gets it. In addition, Numbi goes absolute ham on a single enemy. This skill damage also counts as follow-up damage, so the buff counts for that as well. Once you apply the skill, you can auto-attack until you need to refresh it, making it very skill point positive. Before we speak about the ultimate, let me explain the talent first. Trotter market exclamation mark question mark. This adds Nambi to the action bar, giving them their own turn in the rotation. Similar to Jingyuan's Lightning Lord, Nambi will initiate a follow-up attack at its turn, which is the same spin to win as the skill. Nambi's action that you see on the action bar can be action forwarded. Whenever a follow-up attack from an ally hits a marked enemy, their ultimate turn of profit is simply stonks. Nambi will gain a massive damage multiplier increase and a bit of crit damage for the next two follow-up attacks, which turn into Trotternado. <laughs> Also, whenever an ally does any attack on a marked enemy, Numbi's action advances forward by a whopping 50%. So you attack so fast you feel like you're missing a combo counter. Their technique passively lets you have Numbi follow you around the overworld. Since Numbi is an absolute giga chat, it will go around and find chests for you on its own. But don't worry, since Numbi can sniff out only riches, it'll never find us. For the next battle, Topaz also gains energy and grants extra credits after defeating enemies. In SU, the credits become cosmic fragments instead, with a small chance for it to become a curio. Her traces are a lot of quality of life changes. Basic attack is now a follow-up, fire busters, and Numbi gives Topaz energy. After you force Numbi to find you 1642 chests, you can afford now Eidolons. Follow-up debuffs, third trace, again, any E3, Numbi's turn is Topaz's turn, any E5, and better Numbi NATO. For relics, use the 4-piece follow-up or the 2-piece follow-up and the two-piece fire set. For ornaments, this one or this one are both really good options. For light cones, their signature gives crazy amount of stats. But the Herder Light Cone, Swordplay, or Final Victor are really good F2P options too. For their team, pair them up with as many follow-up characters as you can as it maxes out their potential. Especially in a team with Daddy Ratio, Robin, or Aventurine. Personally, the amount of value I got from Numbi finding chests I would have never found in my lifetime is already worth it, and I only got them recently. Here is how my amazing pulls went. Fuck!